this QDS training video, you will learn how to add a check all that apply type question. For questions where respondents will be able to choose more than one response, you will use a data element with a check each response type. On the data element tab, you'll enter your text of question, variable name, and variable label. Here we have the question, which of these books have you read? and we're using the variable name of books. On the response type, you'll select nominal check each. Then go to the response set tab and this is where you'll enter your choices. Similar to a pick one, you'll double click on the add in the description of category box. This will open the check item dialog box. Note that the variable name suffix box will list the letter A. This will be used as the letter suffix for this check each variable. Each check each choice will have its own variable in the saved data. In the description box, this is where you'll enter the text for the choice that will appear on the button. Here, our first book will be Catcher in the Rye. Once you're done entering that, click OK and you'll see your first category listed in the box. Double click on add again to enter the text for the next category. Here that will be Lord of the Flies. Click OK and now you'll see your first two categories listed. Next you can continue entering your categories until the list is complete. Your completed listing will look like this. For each item, 1 is the value when checked and 0 will be the value when it was not checked. Then you can unselect any special codes that you would like to disallow. Click OK and now you'll see your check each question in the element listing. In the save data file, you will have the following variable names and labels. Books represents how many choices were selected. And there are also variables for each choice, such as books A for Catcher in the Rye, all the way to books E for Wuthering Heights. If the respondent selected Lord of the Flies and the Scarlet Letter, the second and the fourth choices, it would result in the following variables and values being written to the data file. The first choice, books A for Catcher in the Rye, would be 0, and B for Lord of the Flies would be 1, and so on, all the way down to books E would be 0 for Wuthering Heights. Your main variable books would be equal to 2 because two items were selected. To learn more about Check Each Variable, see QDS Online Help.